Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss another past board exam problem. Okay, so dito guys, meron tayong past mechanical engineering board exam problem. So the problem is, find the difference of the area of the square inscribed in a semicircle having a radius of 15 centimeters. So the base of the square lies on the diameter of the semicircle. So for A, we have here 178.91 square centimeter. Uh, for B, we have 173.40 square centimeter and up to C and D uh, choices. So, yung first step natin guys is to illustrate the figure. So, ang sinasabi dito, find the difference between the area of the square inscribed. So, ibig sabihin yung square is inscribed. So, in, ibig sabihin nasa loob. So, yung square nasa loob ng semicircle. Okay? So, drawing muna natin guys yung uh, semicircle. So, semicircle guys, it means that it is one half of the uh, circle. So, semi-circle lang. So, inside, so, yun na guys, pansin ninyo yung drawing ko na hindi siya perfect uh, semi-circle. So, sa loob ng semi-circle, meron tayong square. Sabi nga dito sa problem, the square is inscribed. Okay? Inscribed yung square na sa loob ng semi-circle. So, drawing natin yung uh, square. So, square basically is nasa loob siya ng uh, semi-circle. So, the base of the square lies on the diameter of the semicircle. So, ayan yung figure natin. So, in the problem, it says that the radius is 15 centimeters. So, basically, that is the radius of this semicircle. So, that is 15 centimeters. So, 15 centimeters. Ayan. So, ang hinahanap natin guys is the difference of the area ng square okay, in a semicircle having a radius of 15 centimeters. So, basically, the area that is bounded by the square. Okay, yung nasa labas. Yung pinatungan noong uh, square. So, basically, ito yung area na hinahanap natin. So, in order to get or to compute for that area, we just need to subtract the area of the square to the area of the semicircle. So, the difference, okay, the difference A sub D of the area will be the area of the semicircle, okay, yung area nun, then isubtract natin itong area ng square, okay, area of the square. Okay, so dito, uh, we can easily compute for the area of the semicircle since it is just one half Okay, one half of the area of a circle. So, it is a semicircle. So, minus the area of the square. So, uh, from our geometry, yung area ng circle is pi r squared. And then, yung area ng square, guys, is just equal to uh, its side, let's say x squared. Okay, i-square lang natin yung side niya. So, dito, wala tayo, guys, na... Uh, area ng square since wala tayong x or yung yung dimension or length ng side ng ating square. So, if the length of the side of the square is x, therefore, this is x here. Okay? x. So, this is x also and this is x. Okay, therefore, if this uh, whole length here is x, therefore, this is x over 2. Okay? 1 half lang nung x. So, we have formed here a right triangle. Therefore, we can find or we can compute for the uh, length of the side of the square before, of course, computing for the area of the square. So, extract lang natin, guys, yung right triangle doon sa uh, figure natin. Okay, ayun. So, this is 15. So, this is x over 2 and this is x. Okay. So, using this relationship, we can say that 15 squared, Pythagorean theorem guys, 15 squared is equal to the sum of the squares of these two sides. So, this is x squared plus x over 2 squared. So, that is your Pythagorean theorem. So, computing for x, we have 15 squared. So, that is, compute natin guys, 15 squared using our calculator. So, 15 squared, so that will be 2 to 5, okay? 225 is equal to, so this is x squared plus, 
or x squared over 4. Diba? So, 2, 2, 5 is equal to, so x squared plus uh, x squared over 4. So, that is 1 plus 1 fourth. Diba? So, 1 plus 1 fourth. Okay. So, 5 fourths. So, this is 5 fourths x squared. So, therefore, we can say that uh, x squared is equal to, so, i-divide lang natin, guys, both sides by 5 fourths. So, 2, 2, 5 divided by 5 fourths. Yeah. So, that is 180. So, we have here 180. So, therefore, kuhin natin yung square root. Okay, square root of both sides, that becomes... So, square root of answer natin, 180. Okay, guys. So, that will be 6. Okay, 6 is square root of 5. So, that is plus or minus, guys. No? Pero since this is length, kukunin lang natin yung positive. So, meron lang tayong uh, x or the length of this uh, side ng ating square. We can compute now for the difference. Okay? So, yung difference of area will be, or yung shaded area sa figure natin, that is 1 half area ng circle, that is pi r squared. Okay, since same circle siya, that is 1 half the, of the area of the circle. So, this is 1 half pi r squared minus area ng square, that is, that is x squared. So, sa problem natin, and we just substitute that, difference of area is 1 half pi, and we have r natin guys is, okay, that is 15 centimeters, okay, from the problem. So, 15 centimeters, so squared minus x squared. So, yung x squared natin guys is 180. So, kahit hindi mo na ilagay yung uh, 6 squared to 5. So, kung 6 squared to 5, ang ilalagay mo, i-square pa natin. So, 6 squared to 5, so that is, so centimeter, so that is squared. So, basically, we have here a sub d or the, the difference of area. So, we have here 1 half pi. So, 15 squared. So, that is uh, 225. 225. So, 15 uh, squared, that is 225. So, 225 square centimeters minus. So, yung x squared natin or 6 squared to 5 squared, that is just equal to 180. Okay? So, that is 180 square centimeters. So, let's compute for the value of this using our calculator. So, that is 1 half. So, I am using guys Casio 570ES plus. Okay, so that is 1 half pi times 225. Okay, minus we have here 180. So, that will be 173.43. So, 173.43. So, that is square centimeter. So, that is our difference of area. So, that's it guys. So, that is letter 173.43. That is letter B. So, that's it guys for today's video. So, I hope na may natutunan kayo dito guys sa tutorial na to. So, madalas lumalabas to guys sa mathematics sa engineering board exam. So, this is a past mechanical engineering board exam. And I just want to say good luck sa mga mag-take ng board exam ngayong August. Especially sa mga mechanical engineering students. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you want to support me on my channel... Just click the subscribe button and yung notification bell natin guys so that you'll get notified on my future videos just like this one. See you guys on my next video. Thank you.